video number two on an underpainting technique that's even easier than the last one and we're going to add foundation to one side and powder to the other because i didn't place any product on top of the underpainting that we did in the last video my skin is already prepped with a nice oil and a wonderful hydrating serum there are two products that i like to use when it comes to what we're going to do today one is the westman atelier contour sticks there are three i believe or four different shades depending if you're light medium or deep skin tones but today i'm going to stick with the same palette i used in the last video and that's the makeup forever hd skin so we're going to simplify this look further than what we did last time i'm going to go in and i'm going to add my contour color and a contour color is going to have a gray or cool undertone to create a shadow it's different than a bronzer bronzer is meant to warm the complexion contour is meant to create a cool shadow so I'm just lightly placing a little bit here on my brush and going in the areas where there's a hollow. Remember, follow the hollow if you want to create chiseled features. And if you're looking to soften a feature or pull it back, let's say if you have a prominent nose or a feature that you don't really like, you could take your cool contour shades and think of it as an eraser because remember, dark colors recede and bright colors pull forward. So I'm going in the areas that I want to chisel a bit I'm going ahead on the forehead because I do have a longer forehead and now instead of chiseling features I'm trying to pull back the features a little bit to soften now we're going to go ahead and we're going to flick up the model hollow as we used to call it in the 90s yes I started my career in 1996 with a smaller brush now we're going to go ahead and go around the eye area grabbing a little more of this contour place it on the lids specifically on the brow ridge to create some shape. Taking a little more of that contour, I'm going to lift up. I wanna make sure that it's blending really well between one area to the next, so from the brow ridge up to the outer corner, and then just make sure it's blended really well by the temple so that you don't have a big chunk of contour. And hopefully you guys are seeing what's happening here. We have a line on the jaw that moves up, we have our contour that moves up, and we have on the outer edge of our eye towards our temple that moves up. What does that do? What's the purpose? You are lifting the face. Hopefully you can see that this side doesn't look as lifted as this side. Also, this helps to define your features. Taking the same color, we're gonna go on the side of the nose and you're going to bring it into that eye area. So we're not trying to change anything here. We're working with what we have. Now check this out, one area, to the next area, to the next, to the next. See what's happening here? I call it the S shape contour because really you're working in these little C and S shapes all the way around the face and everything should blend into each other. There should be no hard lines. Adding a little bit under my lip here to make the lips look fuller. Keep being as simple as possible. I'm gonna take a little bit of the highlighter here and mix a little bit of the foundation together. And this is where gonna be where we highlight so that you only have to do two steps. I'm gonna go under the eye area to brighten. Keep it simple. Use a nice fluffy brush that you don't pick up too much product. And just so you guys know, I'm working in the high points of the face or where I want to brighten. So for instance, the high points of the face is here, here, and here, anywhere the bone protrudes. And then around the eyes, of course, we want to brighten for the dark circles. Going under here. And why are we doing that? Because we really want to create a contrast between the shadow color or the contour color we put down and then brighten around that. Putting on the brow ridge. Grabbing my pinky with a little bit of that highlighter. Let's place that in the inner corner of the eye. And this is the step I didn't put in the last video, which was I recommended you guys add your favorite foundation on top, but a lot of you reached out asking, can you please show me the actual technique so I don't ruin what's already been placed down with the underpainting technique. So pick your favorite foundation or your favorite powder. I love the Chanel number one, so I'm gonna use that today. And then I'm gonna use a brush. And you want something that's gonna just help to stamp or basically bounce the product onto the skin. There'll be none of these big sweeping motions. It's really about patting the foundation on as well as the powder. Here's a pump of foundation. You do not need much because you're not looking to cover. You're looking to just kind of softly blend everything together. So I'm taking the foundation and lightly tapping it across the skin. 
trying to evenly disperse it and tapping motions. Right now I am not trying to blend. It's mostly just about placement. I'll take a sponge now and I'll press it in or bounce it on. You can also press and roll very lightly, which is this technique. It helps to push the foundation to the skin while also taking off any excess. Now for the powder, I'm gonna use the Dior and please forgive how messy this is. It just shattered and broke this morning and I'm afraid to do anything to it. I need to press it back in the pan. But I'm using a flat brush here. I'm gonna tap off any excess and I'm just going to pat it lightly on top. I have a very, very thin layer because I'm going to go back in and anywhere I am oily, I will add a second layer. So for those of you with oily skin who've been like, I cannot wear the underpainting technique because it's just too greasy or it feels too oily for me with all the different layers. How do I set it? Can use a powder as you're seeing right now. Pick a blush that you love in a cream or gel formula. Rare Beauty is fantastic. Another one I really like that I'm going to use today is by Westman Atelier. It's the Lip Kits, and this is in the color Lanude. There is one that they have in the Rouge too, but you can use this for lips and cheeks. I like to mix it all together and then go in on the apple of the cheek and go on the outer edge. Just tap a little on. You can do this technique with the blush underneath and then put the foundation on top. I want the blush to stand out a little more, so I'm placing it on the top instead of underneath the foundation. Which is just a really soft. And here we have a natural blush flush. And there it is, an easy underpainting technique. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.